Hey, what's up guys? It's Michael Panetta with Tech Examined, and today we're taking a look at the Panasonic GH4, a camera that shoots 4K, and that's all you need to hear, 4K. <laughs> uh, as some of you may know, I do currently use the uh, uh, Canon 70D, as well as my sidekick, the Sony uh, RX100 M2. So a very good uh, uh, couple there that I use. Uh, you can see a little bit of a difference uh, with the uh, coloring on that. I'm trying to get it uh, as close as possible. But this is a new game for me because uh, there's a, a whole different brand to learn uh, and a whole different style of shooting uh, when it comes to that. I'm just now getting you know, used to the 70D. So I'm going to try it for a couple weeks, see how it works out and see how I enjoy it and how I like it. And I'll determine if, you know, something along the lines of these three cameras can, you know, work together. Uh, or, you know, the, the 70D goes and, and I try to get the Sony to work uh, with the GH4 uh, in some instances. Because if I'm going to be doing 4K, it's not really going to help. And even if I kept that, it's not going to help all that much. Now, don't have to do everything in 4K, but, you know, if it turns out that it looks good, I'm definitely going to want to do that. So... Without further ado, let's go ahead and open this up. Now, I did get uh, the lens with this, which, as you can see here, is the 12 by 35 millimeter uh, f2.8. Again, I'm still kind of a noob at this, exactly as far as what the lenses uh, do and uh, how they work. I'm learning, and it's definitely a learning process, but I do know that the 12 by 35 is a great all-around lens, and uh, I'm currently using, I believe it's the... 15 by 70 or 20 by 70 don't quote me on that I apologize but I love that lens for the 70d it is a great lens and uh, I, I know from experience of seeing the other guys videos uh, that this lens is awesome as well so let's just open it up now again this camera is a different brand uh, you know than obviously that I'm used to with the Canon and it will take some learning and uh, getting used to, as you will definitely see. And, you know, honestly, who includes CDs anymore? Really? A CD? You just download it off the internet, right? So, I don't know. And I've had this for a few days now, so I'm dying to actually open it up and uh, start looking at it and trying it out. Uh, I have a little experience uh, checking out everyone else's GH4, but I do know that this thing is tiny compared to the 70 day and extremely light obviously I got to put the lens on first but you know a very nice uh, a very nice compact uh, camera right there that you know is very powerful in itself so what else comes with this you got a strap for that which is very important they do give you a is this a proprietary to USB cord and you get a charger for your battery and you get a battery, of course. And I believe this is very similar to the battery I use for my 70D, but I'm sure it's not the same thing. And you get a cord uh, for the charger itself. And I believe that is about it in there. So one of the other things I think is extremely important to uh, mention, uh, again, just, you know, something in passing and, uh, you know, when you're going to a new camera like this, uh, your SD card. Um, you know, you got to make sure that you've got the speed to be able to produce the content so the card can keep up. Uh, you know, back in the day, even when I first got a digital camera, you know, uh, I, I had some cards and those cards couldn't keep up and the camera would actually shut off in the middle of recording. So, very important that you do that. Uh, I put a link down below for the Kingston uh, that is a, a very highly recommended card uh, for this and uh, I do have to pick one up so I have that actually on order already through Amazon uh, a, a 32 which I think is more than enough uh, for me and uh, this shouldn't be a problem so obviously as you see here as I'm talking I'm opening up the lens and uh, there is a little lens bag here actually which is very nice you put that in your bag you don't necessarily have a camera bag itself you have a place to store it so the lens, you got a lens hood, or lens uh, light hood, and this is the lens itself. Uh, very small compared to the lens that I'm currently using on the 70D, so that doesn't necessarily mean that it's any any worse or any better as far as letting the light in or, or um, 
getting the shot that you want. Now, I'm going to have to test that out, and I'll definitely have uh, some comparisons for you guys uh, in that. So, it's a very nice lens, very well built. You're not cheaping out. They didn't cheap out on this as far as that goes, and of course the camera itself. Now, there isn't really a whole lot more uh, that I can get into, uh, honestly, that would really help you guys, because I don't know it all that well either. So, you know, this is just a quick unboxing and just my first initial impressions of this and you know like I said it's it's a nice well balanced camera I see that from the start and you know I'm just gonna have to try it out and let you guys know we'll do comparison pictures and uh, video on that uh, I have to learn to set it up uh, typically right now when I shoot uh, I will shoot with everything turned down the saturation turned down the contrast turned down and I'll do that in post after the fact and that's again was a learning experience and something that I'm still learning right now trying to get it to look the best that that it can look uh, for what I'm trying to do and you know people are definitely noticing and uh, say that they enjoy the content so you know this is the first look at this and I definitely want to bring you guys some uh, some uh, you know videos on this a lot more and see exactly how it works. I mean, it just looks gorgeous in the display and everything like that. So that's it for that, guys. Uh, again, the Lumix GH4 4K. Bringing that into the mix. We'll see how that goes uh, compared to the other videos, you know. And uh, we got the 12 by 35 millimeter lens. There it is, guys. Uh, right now, this is going for about 1400 I think. 1400 or 1500 And I think the lens was thousand uh, we'll have to check that out. I'll put links down below if you're interested in checking it out and you want to step your game up in my opinion a good step up from a DSLR say like a 70D a 60D if you want to get into that 4k there are other options out there uh, that are non changeable lenses uh, that you can look at but this is one of the ones that I figured I wanted to try out because I've heard so many good things about it so that's the first look stay tuned for so much more on this comparisons and my thoughts on recording with it and shooting with it editing with it editing with 4k content which should be interesting uh with the sheer size that this uh that this puts out so if you like what you're seeing here be sure to hit that thumbs up button and as always to get the next video be sure to subscribe and there's one more thing that i do want to tell you guys uh be sure to check out my uh drop a toy video which was the uh, Toys for Tots, which I collab with a couple other guys. I feel like it really didn't get a whole lot of uh, uh, attention because maybe it was during the Thanksgiving holidays to do that. But I'm going to put that video right there and you can check it out. Please, please, please take a look. Uh, we're going to have so much fun with it, I think. And uh, it involves Twitter and uh, using the hashtag Drop a Toy. So just a little shout out to that. Got to keep pushing it and uh, want to make sure we get the proper attention we think it deserves. So that is it for me, guys. You have a good afternoon, and I will talk to you in the next video.